What if your dog was born in a different era? Would they be out there hunting, guarding, or herding like they do now? How much do you know about your dog's history? In this video today, we're taking a deep dive into 10 dog breeds with the most interesting histories. So watch the video till the end, because you might just learn more about your furry friend's incredible past. Number 10. Bulldog Modern bulldogs may seem scary, but they were bred to be gentler and more companionable from their ferocious ancestors that were once used in bull baiting. This cruel sport involved pitting a bull against multiple dogs, with the winner being the canine that could pin the bull down. Bulldogs were a popular choice for bull baiting thanks to their stocky build, massive head, and savage temperament. However, the sport was eventually outlawed in 1835, leaving bulldogs without a purpose. Luckily, Fancier stepped in and transformed the breed into the gentle and loyal companions that we know and love today. Number 9. Cani Corso The Cani Corso is often perceived as an aggressive and dangerous breed, and much like the Bulldog, they too have a fascinating history that matches their fierce reputation. Cani Corsos belong to the Mastiff group, which traces its ancestry back to the Greek Molossus. The Roman legions brought some of these Molossers to Italy and bred them with the native Italian breeds, giving rise to the Cani Corso. Originally bred for battle, these dogs were massive and fearless, charging into enemy lines with flaming oil strapped to their backs. After the Western Roman Empire ended, people started using these dogs as hunters and to protect farms. This caused the dogs to become smaller and nicer in temperament than they used to be. Even though they've changed, Cani Corsos are still very strong and loyal, just like the city of Rome. Number 8. St. Bernard while the Cani Corso guarded Rome with its might, the St. Bernard brought comfort to pilgrims traveling to Rome through the treacherous Great St. Bernard Pass. This alpine pass was known to be inhospitable due to bad weather and thieves, but Archdeacon Bernard de Menthon founded a hospice there in 962 AD, which provided refuge to travelers. The hospice monks kept Mastiff-type dogs around to guard the grounds and help in search and rescue missions. These canines were credited with saving over 2,000 travelers, with one dog named Barry becoming a legend for saving over 40 people on his own. In honor of Barry, the dogs were often referred to as Barry Hunden until they were officially recognized as the St. Bernard breed in 1880. Number 7. Dalmatian The Dalmatian is a breed of dog named after its origin in Dalmatia or present-day Croatia, famous for its unique, spotted appearance. Dalmatians are known not only for their unique coat, but also for their historical role as coach dogs. They were used to clear the way for horse-drawn carriages and to alert people if there were any dangerous horses nearby. Because they were so helpful, Dalmatians became very popular as carriage dogs and were even used by fire departments to help protect people from fires. Firefighters found out that Dalmatians were very good with horses and had a calming effect on them. This led to a long association between Dalmatians and the fire department. Even though they no longer have the job of clearing the way for horse-drawn carriages, Dalmatians are still loved by many firefighters as companions. Number 6. Greyhound Greyhounds aren't just speedy. They also have a rich and impressive history that secures their spot on the list of legendary dogs. These ancient canines have been around for 8,000 years and were admired by every culture they encountered for their exceptional hunting skills, strength, and agility. They were mentioned by the Greeks, depicted in Egyptian art, praised by the Romans, and even mentioned in the Bible. Their hunting prowess was so remarkable that in Europe, owning a greyhound was outlawed within 10 miles of the king's forest. Additionally, their noble appearance was so highly valued that until 1700, only nobility were permitted to own greyhounds. If you're looking for a dog with a regal and distinguished air, then the Greyhound, with its history and skills, is the perfect choice for you. Number 5. Bichon Frise Like Greyhounds, Bichon Frises were also a favorite of nobility. These pups were created in France by crossbreeding Barbichon type dogs, resulting in a gentle lap dog. Royalty in France, Italy, and Spain adored them, and they spent their days as precious lap warmers. However, when the French Revolution erupted, many nobles were imprisoned or executed, and the Bichon's life as a pampered pet came to an end. They had to fend for themselves on the streets, where they learned tricks and performed for coins. As a result, they became famous circus performers with their white coats and adorable looks. 
Despite this, the circus environment, with bright lights and loud noises, can be stressful for these sensitive dogs, leading to anxiety and health problems. Many also experienced harsh training methods and long hours of performance, leaving them exhausted and sometimes injured. Thankfully, most circuses today have ceased using animals in their shows. We can honor Bishan Frishes and all dogs by respecting their natural abilities and treating them with kindness. Number 4. Pembroke Welsh Corgi The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is a small dog breed that is famous for more than just their meme-worthy appearance. Originally bred in Wales for herding, corgis were prized for their short stature, which allowed them to nip at the heels of cattle without getting kicked. According to legend, Corgis were once war horses for fairies before they were gifted to children. This is why the rough line of fur on their back is called the fairy saddle. The breed's most famous accomplishment is that they captivated their most famous fan, Queen Elizabeth II. She owned over 30 royal corgis during her reign and even personally oversaw a breeding program at Windsor Castle. Number 3. Pomeranian Similar to the corgi, Pomeranians, also known as palms, are a small and adorable breed of dogs that have gained fame for their cute appearance. However, the Pomeranian was not always a lap dog. Can you imagine? Originally, Pomeranians were larger and were used as working dogs to herd livestock and pull sleds. It was Queen Victoria's Palm Marco who won at the 1891 Crufts Dog Show that sparked a breeding trend. Breeders, including Queen Victoria herself, began selectively breeding smaller Pomeranians. During her lifetime, the dog's size is said to have decreased by 50%. Today's Pomeranians owe their petite size and widespread popularity to Queen Victoria's fondness for the breed. Number 2. Chihuahua The Chihuahua is another small breed with an interesting history. The breed's ancestor, the Techichi, was depicted in Toltec carvings from the 9th century with similar characteristics to the Chihuahua. However, their exact role in Toltec society remains unknown. The Techichi was later absorbed into Aztec culture, where they were believed to have mystical powers. Unfortunately, this led to the custom of sacrificing and cremating red Techichis with the deceased. After the Spanish conquest in the 1500s, the breed became obscure until modern Chihuahuas were discovered in the Mexican state of Chihuahua in the 1850s. Since then, the breed has become one of the most popular dogs worldwide. And number 1. Lasha Apso the Lasha Apso is one of Tibet's most treasured breeds thanks to their long-standing history of being used as temple and monastery watchdogs. Considered sacred animals, they were believed to bring good fortune and ward off evil spirits in ancient Tibet. The dogs were so revered that they were not even allowed to leave Tibet except as gifts from the Dalai Lama. In fact, the first Lashas to enter the US were gifted by the 13th Dalai Lama to see us cutting a noted world traveler in 1933. The cuttings then helped establish the breed in the US by importing more dogs. So folks, that wraps up our list of 10 dog breeds with the most interesting histories. Let us know in the comments what you think about these fascinating dog breeds and their histories. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.